everybody. Hello, hi. Nice to see you. It's Sarah here from Sarah McCauley Studio. I am live on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page from Sydney, Australia. It's Monday evening here. I am excited um, about the project I'm going to show you this evening and um, let me know if you can see me, you can hear me. I'd love to know where you're watching from. It's always so much fun to, um, to know where everyone is watching from around the globe. So um, drop me a little emoji, say hello. Hi Leanne, how are you? Jesse, how are you going today? Oh, hi Yvonne, nice to see you, thanks for watching. So today I am demonstrating one of these beautiful um, Hamptons transfers. Some of you um, are already very familiar with this pack. Um, it is a very popular pack and it has seven different designs in it. Um, some of you may have seen a few weeks back, um, I did a tray with some little birds on it, which was fun. Hi Pamela, how are you? And um, the, the diversity of designs in here is just gorgeous. So if you're into Hamptons, if you're into Oh my goodness, blue and white, ginger jars, floral, you will love it. Um, but I've been really excited because I've been waiting for my turn to show you the peacock, um, who is so beautiful. So I'm hoping you can see that. He's a nice big one, so I've um, selected a piece of furniture to put him on. Whereabouts in Australia are you, Leanne? Thank you for joining me. It's, I guess it's a good time of evening, isn't it, with our um, public holiday today. Yeah, he is wow, isn't he, Yvonne? He really is wow. So you can see um, there's a couple of lines on here. Those don't come on the transfer. I have drawn those two lines because I'm going to cut along those lines to put him on my cupboard. And I will cut it and I will do everything in front of you, but I wanted to get my measurements right so that I didn't stuff those up. So. I have measured. This is um, an oriental style cupboard, which I was lucky enough to pick up off the street. Um, someone was having a clear out. And it was um, actually, it's, it's a good shape and size, and it was um, a red and black oriental design, but it was made of that um, vinyl, uh, sort of fabricy vinyl stuff. And it was peeling really badly. So I managed to do a good peeling job on it. Um, and painted it um, and I thought that this paint, um, this type of muted um, denim type of look would actually suit the peacock quite well because I'm going to apply my peacock to these two doors um, and um, I might not have time today on this demo but I will also do some um, other features I'm hoping to do some gold and some copper and you know finish it off like that so um, I will get started I can see quite a few more jumping on so I'll just say hello to everyone thank you for watching me it's Sarah from Sarah McCauley studio um, on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page showing you the fabulous peacock who is just gorgeous now, for those of you um, who may not have used these transfers before, the fact that I have drawn my lines on the front of him, that is not going to affect my design at all because the front piece of this is acetate. And the idea is, um, hello, Helena from Ireland, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Must be pretty early there, I guess, for you. Um, so for those of you who haven't used the dry rub transfers, pardon me if you have used them, if you're totally familiar, skip through this bit. But um, for those of you who haven't used them, the idea is that you adhere them to your surface with a rubbing method. And the pattern that you're seeing adheres to your furniture without, um, and then the front paper, which is the acetate, peels off. And I'll show you as we go along. Um, I know quite a few of you have used these already. Jesse, I know you're familiar with these. Helena, obviously, you've done a gazillion of these too, really beautifully, I must say. 
Um, but I know it can be quite baffling. I know from running workshops that if you haven't seen a furniture transfer before, the concept of it um, is new to you. Um, you may not have seen them. And they're a little bit like those, um, those tattoos that you have when you're a kid. Do you remember? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Annie. Um, you know when you have those um, transfers that you stick on your arm when you're a kid and you apply water? It reminds me a bit of that. It's 10 a.m. Yeah, I love this paint effect too, Helena. And you know what? Um, it was so much fun. I just used pretty much every blue I had in stock to do it. And it was a bit of fun. And because it was a rustic old cupboard anyway, that, um, you know, that kind of rustic shabby look works really well. I'm just going to angle my camera down so you can actually see. I'm just cutting along my lines because I'm going to put the peacock himself here on this door. I'm going to continue the design on the other door. And I would normally, um, if I wasn't talking to you guys, I would lay this down and do it flat because it's way easier to apply transfers on a flat surface but because I want to chat to you as we go along I'm going to do it vertically and I'm just going to be very careful with my application and um, how I stick him on. Hi Les. Let me know where you're watching from guys because um, I always think it's so much fun that we can do this from so far away and you know we've got Ireland we've got Australia I think occasionally we have um, a few from the US on at this time but it can be very very early for them I do realize that so I have my peacock cut out he's gonna go here on this side and what you do is you just gently peel off this white backing we you don't need the white bit so that's coming off. As you peel, just be careful not, not to drop it like I'm doing, not to get um, fingers on your actual design too much because we don't want anything to ruin this peacock before he goes on. That's not wanting to come off, so I'm just gonna snip that there. Okay, so I have my peacock. So this is the acetate, no more backing paper. And I'm going to position him around about here. Excuse me if I have my back to you. Because I want him to sit really neatly on, as, ne well, as neatly as possible, on this door. So I think that feels about right to me. And I'm going to tape him on. Because I'm doing this vertically, I just want to make sure he's not going to wiggle around while I'm applying him. Um, because I want him to adhere really well, no cracks, no bumps. Um, and these, these go on really well, so it's not a worry. It's only if I'm too busy talking and um, he tumbles down or something like that. So here we go, I'm taping him on. And because I've got my um, brass handle in the way, I'm going to just snip this bit off because this is just pure acetate. This doesn't have any of my design on it. I don't need this bit and it's preventing me from getting good flatness. Thank you for joining me everyone who's just joined. I can see quite a few of you on now. Um, I'm applying the peacock from Everything Hamptons Transfer which comes in this tube. It comes one of seven designs so you really get a lot of bang for your buck in this tube he is um, a product from Aussie Decor Transfers to see any of the products at all there is a link above this video if you click through the link you can see all the products um, we're a global brand we have distributors in all different parts of the globe so jump on the website and whatever you need um, just get shipped directly to you easy peasy Hi Sarah. Is it Sarah or Sarah? Um, 
and drop me an emoji, whatever your favorite emoji is, however you're feeling today. So I'm going to start going with applying my peacock. I'm using my yellow transfer tool. This comes with the tube. If you buy any of our dry rub transfers, you get one of these with the tube and you get one of these, which is the wooden transfer tool. That is all you need. This, I find um, this wide end is very good for sort of smushing your design on. So I generally give it a general smush all over first with this. My surface of paint is sealed, by the way. Though it is chalk paint, I have sealed it with a clear coat of varnish, um, whatever is your preferred clear coat. Um, uh, it's something to seal the paint because you don't want to apply it to a porous surface. You want it to have a, a surface to cling onto. It's not a particularly shiny surface, it's actually a matte varnish, but I know that my surface is sealed. It's clean, it's dust free. I'm just going to see if I can bring this in a little bit. And with these transfers, I find that it's a good idea to start from one end. I'm going to start from the top because then I know where I've been. And I like to use this um, end of the transfer tool. It's um, sort of, it's quite robust. You can apply a lot of pressure with it which is good when you just want to make sure you get really good adherence. Now this is a bit annoying. I'm going to have to hold the top of this because it's on a trolley which is wobbling a little and I don't want my transfer to slip and for me to miss any. Jesse, have you done the peacock yet? He's pretty cool, isn't he? I've been really dying to use him. So um, this is going on really nicely. You can see, um, I might bring you a little bit nearer. You can start to see when your design adheres because the acetate, as you're pressing your design onto the acetate, it starts to lift off. So I can see my peacock head is starting to lift off beautifully. I was actually trying to find something peacocky to where I've got, <laughs> got hummingbirds on. Which isn't quite right, but you know, you get the gist. So um, I'll just take you a little bit closer so you can see up to about there, the acetate has gone clear, which means I know that his head has stuck to my piece of furniture. And the idea is to just keep going, go as slowly as you like, because you wanna get this really adhered on beautifully. If you miss a bit, it is not a disaster because I'll show you while I'm lifting off that you can go back and you can, if you've missed a bit, um, you can go back and sort of um, adhere it back on. It is a gorgeous transfer, isn't it? Yeah. It really, really is a stunner. I think, you know, whatever you applied it to, I like this piece of furniture, but you could apply it to anything, really, and it would absolutely lift it out of the ordinary into something really special. So I'm going to work my way down from the top. This will take a little while, so um, if you have questions as I go along, yell out. Helena, are you having a heat wave over there? Do you get heat waves over in Ireland? I know that the Brits are having a bit of a heat wave at the moment. And I saw the soccer stars were all a bit sweating and having a hot time of it. What's your weather like, Jesse, in Paradise Beach? Right, so I'm really 
pleased that his head has gone on so well. It would not be good to have a headless peacock. Um, so my plan is to do this. If I have time on this live, I will do this part too. Cloudy, cloudy and Helena says sticky and sweaty. Oh yeah, cold and wet in Paradise Beach. That's not, that's not very much like paradise, is it, if it's cold and wet? So I'll try and get through two doors. But as I said, I really want to go slow with this and get it really perfect. So if I don't have time, bear with me and I will finish it and I will post photos. Hi Caroline, how are you? How is your weather in Cambridgeshire today? Hi Katharina. Oh good, you can, right, so um, Helena's saying you can see his head is cloudy, good. That's what I really would want you to see because um, once you know it's gone cloudy, that gives you a lot of confidence because you know you've pushed it off your acetate onto your surface. And whether that is furniture or whether that's um, a piece of um, homewares, I often use these transfers on things like trays, um, flower pots, um, trinket boxes, all kinds of things. Um, but you, that, that is what you want. You want that opacity. You can also use um, the wooden transfer tool for this job, interchangeable, both very useful. Hi Sandra, how are you? This is also a really nice one for um, getting some leverage with it. If you can see that. Fabulous. Yeah, so he is um, he's adhering really nicely. It is just a process to get him on. Um, and it's quite, it really is quite fun doing this. It's quite therapeutic. So it's nice just to, you know, have a cuppa, put some music on, take your time. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Sandra. Beedrin in Queensland. Okay, I don't know where that is. Is that quite far north, Sandra? I'm familiar with certain parts of Queensland, but not others. So um, while we're doing this, I thought I'd tell you about um, the competition that's on at the moment. Some of you already know about this, um, and in fact, some of you probably entered already. But there is a contest on the Aussie Decors Creative Club, which is our Facebook group for people who are um, want to use the products and share pictures of them. So we've got a really fab giveaway at the moment, which is if you use one of our Lux decoupage papers, which are like the gorgeous, thick, um, silky tissue papers that are new to the range, if you use one of them, take pictures of your work, post it in the Creative Club Facebook page. You are in the running um, to win the June prize, which is 120 Aussie dollars of free stuff. Any stuff you want from Aussie Deco. It doesn't have to be the Lux Decoupage. It can be anything you want. Plus, um, the winner has their, um, their winning creation featured as the feature photo on the Facebook page for a whole month, which is like amazing exposure and just so much fun. So if you, um, if you haven't seen the Lux Decoupage papers, have, check out the link, which is above this video. There's a link to Aussie Decor Transfers. You can look at all the product. There are about 25 different choices of the Lux Decoupage. Um, and each one is in three different sizes. So if you want to go large, put it on a piece of furniture. If you want to play around with them, I've used some of the medium and the small ones. Make beautiful projects. And um, they're kind of affordable for all budgets as well because you can just, just grab a small one if you want to and have a little play with it. 
Um, but make sure you post pictures. And I mean, even if you're um, even if you're not a winner this time, it's a great way just to sort of connect with other people who are also into the same thing. We're all doing craft. We're all um, craft nerds, and it's great to inspire each other and just enjoy each other's creations. Like it's. I don't, actually don't have many friends who are crafty, so I absolutely love the online world of crafts and stuff because you just meet cool people. Sunshine Coast. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I guess I'm about almost halfway down my peacock, so that gives you an indication of how long it takes. Like it's a pretty speedy process. Um, it's an easy process. You just need to be a little bit thorough. And it's okay to kind of apply quite a lot of pressure. You're not going to ruin it if you press too hard. You really can't. It doesn't tear. It's thick acetate. Um, you're, you know, there isn't anything you can do wrong. The only thing you've got to watch for is that you just get each and every part. And depending on the light and the time of day, it can be just a little bit tricky sometimes to see if you've got all of it. So once I've done this, we'll lift it off really slowly and delicately just to make sure each and every little bit is stuck on. And we're good. Great. Fabulous. So um, Aussies out there, what have you been doing today on our public holiday? It's been nice to have Monday off, hasn't it? I've really enjoyed it. We, we went for a little walk today. We went and fed some ducks, had a bit of brunch. Um, my son is really into wild birds. He takes a packet of bird seed with him and feeds ducks and geese and stuff. I think it's to alleviate the monotony of being with his parents. <laughs> so we had a gorgeous walk, we had some brunch, um, enjoyed the sun, enjoyed the day off. So I can't really see if my, if my flowers are adhering. It's a little bit easier with the darker colours like the blue of the peacock. I can see a lot more. So he is opaque down to about there, I think. Yvonne says she was watching the whales going up the coast. Oh, how beautiful. It's always really special when you see the whales, isn't it? Where were you watching from, Yvonne? It's, um, I guess it's peak season, isn't it, for migration? Okay, so, yeah, my opacity is now down to about here. Thanks for sticking with me. I know it's like, can be a bit um, of a long process when you're watching somebody else doing something, but um, if you have questions along the way, do hit me up with any questions. Caroline says the peacock colours will pop on that lovely green background. I think so too. Yeah, I think so. Um, I hope so. We'll see. But I, I think he's just so magnificent. And you know, I think he could work on so many different backgrounds. I've seen um, uh, people just do it on a crisp white, which also looks fantastic, especially if you do love that whole Hamptons look. Like he, if you Pop him on a white background, amazing. And I would, um, I would honestly say that this pack just keeps you going for such a long time because it has seven designs in it um, and the peacock is just one of them. So you can make your Hamptons wall art, you can do um, 
you can get so many projects out of it. And even once I've done my peacock on here, I've got bits and pieces of peacock that are going to be left over. So um, I'm going to stretch it as far as I can. So you do get a lot of value, I have to say. Fabulous, okay. Yeah, this is going on really easily actually. And I love his green in his tail. I think this could actually look really good on um like maybe a rich dark green background. Tell me what you think. Um have any of you used this on any of your furniture? Liz says, have you ever sat staring at a piece and can't decide on the colour? Yes, Liz, I have. Um, and I sometimes leave it for a bit if that happens um, until inspiration hits. Or what I have done in the past is I've painted something and just gone, you know what, it doesn't feel quite right. Um, and then just painted over the top. So I don't know what kind of paints you're into, whether you're into chalk paints or mineral paints or... Um, but I, I do find with chalk paint, it's so forgiving, you can keep painting over it. So this um, blend is, um, this was actually painted in a really, really dark um, teal green, kind of teal green aqua color called Monaco. Then I did a blend of lighter blues over the top and just sanded back. So the darkish color you can see coming through is the Monaco coming through. And as I said, because it was a damaged old piece, I just went for that very rusticy um, blended color because it just kind of suited the piece. But if you can't decide on a color, um, just just pick one and start, and then and then you can layer. You know, you can even do a dark color, let it dry, put a light color over the top, and sand back to let the dark peep through, all the other way around. Um, there aren't really, you know, there aren't really any rules. No, thank you, Liz. Thanks for asking the question. Um, I do quite a lot of teaching in my studio and I, I um, really get inspired by students who come along because they all try out new colours and techniques and so on, so I learn a lot from them too. Yeah, I agree with that, Helena. Let the furniture speak to you. That's a really good way of putting it, isn't it? If you haven't seen um, Helena's page, Gink Design, check it out because um, Helena is the queen of colour blending. She does like really, really cool colour combos. Um, and if you're new to the Aussie Decor Transfers page, there's somebody on every day, there's a brand ambassador or a content creator doing a live demo every day of a different product somewhere in the world. So, and even if you um, aren't in the same time zone, you can watch the reruns. So I spend a lot of time watching other people's um, reruns and learning from the others on the team. So I'm liking the fact that you can see the opacity on the dark part of the bird. So he's a paint down to there now. So he's he is proving easy to do. Um, but you know you just need to take your time, do it thoroughly. And when it comes time to take it off, I'll give you a little sneak preview. You just start to lift really gently and see where it's stuck. So my peacock head is beautiful. This part, take my hand out of the way so you can see, 
This part is not so good because I've still got some leaves left on my acetate that haven't stuck. So in that case, you just lift up gently. Don't panic if it's not perfect. Go back, do it again. It's not anything you've done wrong. It's just that it takes a little while to get all of it 100% stuck on. And it's, um, that's the challenge of it. But the satisfaction you get when you lift it up and it's all stuck is just brilliant. Hi Shelley, thank you for joining. So I can see from the timing, I'm probably not going to be able to do both doors on this live tonight. I will try and get this one done because I want to lift off and just show you what it looks like without the acetate. What I will do after this live, this part is gonna go on that door there so as to sort of continue the design along. And then this part at the end, I'm going to cut that off and use that for something else. So you get the idea, hopefully, that um, you get kind of an, uh, you know, the painted effect across your whole cupboard. I could have done it in a one and then just cut with a craft knife. But because I'm trying to do it on a vertical surface, I just thought I'm going to make life as easy for me as possible. I don't want any slippage. Hi Lee, thank you for joining. Thanks Liz, that's kind of you. Um, if you fancy uh, checking out the Peacock or any of the other products, the link is above the video. Just jump on, have a quick look. Okay, so we're getting there. tail is starting to come now. Might go back to my yellow tool for a little bit. And if you're enjoying this process and you think you've got any friends, um, got any cool crafty friends who you think would enjoy this, feel free to um, spread the love around, drop, um, uh, direct them to this, you know, share, share this with them and um, get them interested in this in the product too because it's a very cool product okay so I'm just gonna move back so you can keep seeing thanks Jesse I think it's gonna be beautiful too I actually um, took it out of my house to put the peacock on it and everyone's going, but but where's the cupboard gone? But but where are we going to put stuff? So I need to finish it fairly quickly so that it can go back in the house. So I think I'm fairly well stuck to about here now. So that gives you just an indication of timing how long these things take but again um, just the, don't don't rush these because they're a really fun process really nice process to do So I'm pretty excited about the um, next project as well. I've got a beautiful magnolia design to show you next week, um, which is uh, a self-adhesive decoupage. I know some of you have seen those products already. Um, and those are great because you can either use them in their entirety, they're really big, they're A1 size. You can use them on a big piece 
I used one on a um, blanket box a few weeks back or you can cut them up and use them for smaller designs. Um, and there are different ways you could use this peacock. I've chosen to use him across my piece like that, like a painting. Um, if you're feeling like you want to cut him up, you know, what can be really nice with trantas as well is you can just cut them and sprinkle them over your project. So you could use, you know, this um, hydrangea in one place. You could actually cut your peacock out and have him going somewhere else. So there aren't any hard and fast rules about how you do it. Um, and I'm thinking because I'm going to have, once I've done my other door, which is this section, this section here um, after the line is going to be spare. So I might try and do like just a little sprinkle of bits um, to balance out my peacock. Thanks, Helena, for answering Yvonne's question. Sometimes it's hard to do the project and answer questions at the same time, but I appreciate it. Okay, so we're getting there. I'm just going to again do a little sneak peek from the top to see which bits have stuck, which needs more work. That needs a bit more work. But yeah, so down to about here, it's looking really good. Can you see that? And he actually is amazing. Like he actually looks like he's been painted on there by hand. So if you, really want a wow piece of furniture that looks like your um you know your monet and your painting genius um the quality of these is just brilliant i'm really excited about it, having this you know it's one of those really wow pieces if you want a statement piece in your home get one of these guys It could be, you know, if you, I think it could be something fabulous, like if you were having, if you were planning a wedding or something and you wanted something to put your wedding cake on, wouldn't he be just a real statement piece? Right, come on, Peacock. I think we're getting there. My doors keep wanting to flap open, which is a little bit annoying. Yvonne, have you tried any of these transfers yet? Or the um, posters or the decoupage papers? I think you'd like them. And if you don't want to tackle a big furniture project straight away, um, that is no problem at all. Just start small, build up your confidence. Um, I find often that um, you can really have fun with a small project and then once you're comfortable with the product, go, go for it, you know, then do some bigger things. Now, yeah, where's my yellow tool? There it is. Great. And don't forget to join the Creative Club, which is the Facebook group. It's a very supportive group, which I like. Really nice, supportive people who just take joy in seeing each other's work. Um, also, don't forget to like the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. Um, if you want to follow me, do like my page. I'll keep you up to date on what I'm doing. 
and then you can message me and ask me any questions through that page as well if you've got any questions at all. Um, you know, we're here to provide as much knowledge as possible and we're often trying out these project products um, fairly new as well. So though I'm very familiar with dry rubber transfers, um, sometimes, you know, we're trying them out and exploring all the pitfalls so that we can tell you exactly what the pitfalls are. Because, you know, what you really learn from doing things wrong, don't you? I do anyway. One of the best, best ways of learning is you do a little mistake and then figure out how to fix it. You've got a tray to practice on, Yvonne. That's good. And I know you're about your cupboard. We spoke about your cupboard, didn't we? Um, and don't forget the competition on the... Um, and the Creative Cup page, I think Helena just mentioned it. Win a, you can win $120 worth of products. So if you create something using Lux Decoupage, which is our new range of papers, they're like a tissue paper, but they're really, um, saying they're tissue doesn't do them justice because they're, they're, they're really lustrous. They have a gorgeous um, shine to them they have silk fibres going through them, so they're, they're strong, they don't rip when you're using them. They adhere really nicely without wrinkles. So I don't know if any of you um, are fans of decoupage, but one of the problems is um, wrinkles that you often get. So, um, so, I'm just moving my tape because I'm nearly at the end down here. Um, I'm nearly at the end, but with these hydrangeas, I can't quite see if they're properly adhered on yet or not. So I'm just going to give them a really good, I'm keeping an eye on the time because I do need to finish up quite soon, otherwise Facebook will cut me off. But I really want you to see this. And we're nearly, nearly there. So. Oh, there's one tiny little blue leaf there, needs to go on. There's a little blue leaf there. So as you peel, just gradually check. And I'm actually going to, because I can see this top half is fully adhered. I'm actually going to cut this bit of acetate off so that you can see the difference. You can see what's stuck and what hasn't. Excuse me a minute, I'm just going to stand up to get some leverage on this. Okay. And I'll show you a close up. So that's the bit that has stuck on his head, the foliage. Isn't that just lovely I'm really happy with that and I'm just working through these last bits so as you peel can you see there's a tiny bit still left on my acetate so if you see a little bit like that just go back and smush it on because it will go onto your piece hi Patricia how are you if you've just jumped on, I'm Sarah. I'm from Sarah McCauley Studio in Sydney, and this is the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page, and I'm demonstrating this pretty peacock transfer. And what I'm going to do at the end is I'll take my craft knife and just go down into any of these crevices. But look, he's adhered really, really well. Oh, there's one piece of hydrangea down here that hasn't stuck. So don't be uh, afraid to apply quite heavy pressure, either with your wooden transfer tool or your yellow transfer tool, both of which come in your tube. And you just use these over and over again. These are not um, things you chuck away. They don't get um, dirty in any way. So just keep, keep hold of these. These are like gold. They're absolutely brilliant. So I'm very nearly at the end. I'm a little bit conscious of time. 
I'm going to see if I can peel him very, very nearly there. One little piece of hydrangea there. Here we go, last little bits down here. Ideally, you just do this over, you know, give yourself a nice relaxing bit of time. Um, it can also kind of depend on the climate you're in as well, how quickly you can get it on your surface. But as long as you have a sealed surface, so if you're using a chalk paint or a mineral paint, whatever type of paint you're using, make sure you seal it with um, some sort of varnish or top coat because that will allow your transfer to stick onto it really well with no problems, no dust, nothing else. Okay, I think we're about there. So as you peel off, just check your acetate. There's some little bits along here which are left on the acetate. I'm not worried about those because those are where the cracks are occurring. There's a little bit under my tape that I have forgotten to stick because it was, it was hidden. So it's quite forgiving, you know, you just go slow um, and if you kind of go, oh no, I've missed, see I've missed part of his tail, just go back, go back over it. And any little bits under the tape that you haven't stuck, go back over those. You get the idea anyway. Um, all of the information you need is above the video. The link to the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page, we're on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. The link to Aussie Decor Transfers website is there. Jump on, have a look at the products. You can see the peacock, you can see all the other gorgeous goodies. Um, don't forget to join the Creative Club. So he's done. If you can see there, see on my acetate, there's one little green leaf left. I'm going to put him back on there. And make sure he goes on. So there's no, you can't, you really can't stuff this up. Hi Darlene, hi Elizabeth. Thank you for jumping on. I'm, um, almost at the end of this, but you can watch the replay very shortly. Just put hashtag replay if you watch on replay and I'll be checking back. So if you have questions, do let me know. Hi Mia love, how are you? Thanks for watching. And that last little bit of green on the bottom. Okay, so we're good. We're good. There he is. So I'm sorry I didn't get to do the other door with you, but I'm really glad I just took my time and got him adhered properly. So you can see the close up there. He's very lustrous, great colors. Um, and I'm gonna, so he's on that door. You can, if you have any little edges, just smooth them on. Go back with your acetate. You may have seen the other, brand ambassadors and content creators do this, get the shiny part of your acetate to burnish your design on. I'm going to take five minutes and go and just keep burnishing him on. That helps him just really stick firmly and beautifully onto the project. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to finish up. Um, but like I said, if you do have questions, um, just shoot them through. You can follow me on my Facebook page, the link's above the video. Um, if you want to contact me, ask me any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks so much for watching. Okay, enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, Caroline, Helena, anyone over in the Northern Hemisphere, have a brilliant day. It's been nice um, chatting to you. Bye everyone, thanks.